Albert Square turns East Side Story when Kane's gang lures Liam into its ranks after they beat up Tamwa and steal his money belt. Bianca's right to be suspicious when she discovers a school letter praising Liam. He faked it. But she covers for him when police question him about the money. She panics when she learns Liam's in league with the gang and lied to her about returning Tam's money belt. But then she finds him with them. She tries to pull him away from Kane, but will he see sense and go home? Ian overhears Denise being rude about him when Alfie quizzes her. Then she cancels their date. But she's touched when he cooks lunch for Patrick and they end up kissing after a heart to heart. Then Denise suggests sneaking him into hers later. Things aren't quite so rosy between Max and Kirsty. When he shows Tanya support over Stay Away Abby, then throws Jack out of Tanya's, Kirsty is highly put out. Next we visit Corey. Just as Chesney tells Fizz he's going to propose to Katie, he finds out he has a rival for her hand after she kisses Ryan, then lies to go clubbing with him. Gary spots Katie in Ryan's van and tells Izzy he thinks they're having an affair, and Chez wonders what's up when Gary picks a fight with Ryan. It doesn't take him long to learn the truth, but Katie begs him to believe she loves him and never slept with Ryan. Can he forgive her? Carl's plans to split up Jason and Stella fail again after Jason moves into the Rovers after losing his job with the council. Carl sabotages Tim's attempt at fixing a leaking pipe in the pub and instead fuses the electrics. But Carl fumes when Stella reveals Jason's quitting labouring to work behind the bar. Sunita reveals to Sophie she was a fool to lose Dev after he gives her a beautiful Mother's Day gift. So Sophie takes up her cause by telling him she wants him back. Dev tells Sunita he still loves her and suggests a fresh start away from the street. Although he's rattled when Stella warns him he's making a big mistake. Last, it's Emmerdale. Brenda's maintaining her silence despite Dan finding out about her brain tumour. She tells him she doesn't want to put Bob through more grief after the twins have already lost their mum. But Bob is miserable when he sees Dan and Brenda looking cosy in the wool pack, especially when Brenda later tells him she doesn't love him. Bob's gutted when he sees Dan put his arm around Brenda, not realising she's feeling faint, and he has a scuffle with Dan. Only then does Brenda confess the truth. Katie takes legal action after a tiddly Vanessa misdiagnoses her horse and it dies, but she agrees to not take legal action if Patty sacks her. Rona refuses to let her go, but Paddy tells her he can't stay if Vanessa does, and the stalemate jeopardises their marriage, so Paddy asks her to stay until the end of her contract. A guilty Vanessa takes action and locks the troubled couple in the surgery to talk things through, which works, as they do a deal with Katie and put £5,000 towards a horse charity. <laughs>